Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. Well, we are entering our second week of Lent, continuing to follow our faith map of the wandering heart, following along the journey that Peter took as he followed Jesus on the way to the cross. Today's story from Matthew 14, 22 through 33 tells us about a time in which Peter needed to be rescued. You might recall that story where they're out in a boat and as Jesus was walking on the water to the disciples to meet up with them, Peter decides that he wants to get out and walk towards Jesus. Well, Peter at first does okay, but then he begins to sink and he cries out for help. Jesus reaches out, takes hold of him, brings him into the boat, and rescues him from danger. How many times in our lives have we thought that, you know, things are going okay, but then all of a sudden it seems as though we're sinking, that challenges around us are overwhelming, and we cry out for help. If we're watching and listening, we can find that Christ reaches out a helping hand to lift us up, to hold on to us, and to take us through that storm to dry land and to a safe place. Does it mean that we won't face storms? Does it mean we won't get wet? No. You're still going to get wet. You're still going to face those challenges. But the good news is that we are not alone, that we know that Christ is there with us to grab hold of us, to help us, to guide us, and to help us get through, and to make sure that we don't sink any farther. So I invite you this week to read the passage from Matthew's Gospel and to take time to reflect on your own life. Where is it maybe that you need to reach out for the hand of Christ to guide you, to direct you, to rescue you from those dangers that perhaps you've put yourself in situations and circumstances, maybe straying far from God's will for you and what you might be doing in the world to make the world a better place. So reflect on where and how you may need to rely upon the power and presence of Christ to rescue you and redirect your life. May you continue to follow along knowing that with Peter, we are not alone, that we too have a wandering heart, and that if we rely upon God's presence, that we too can find our way back to the path, that we too can continue on the faith journey walking with Christ, and doing God's work. May God continue to grab hold of you and guide you and strengthen you for all of life's storms and challenges.